Hey guys, welcome to Bubble Man's World. I am in beautiful Stanley Park, Vancouver, with my good buddy Johnny B, who's in the house. What's up, guys? How's it going, Johnny B? Fuck, it's so good to see you, man. Nice, strong, firm grip on Johnny B. That never used to be. I'm re-meeting my friend for the first time here, and we figured, what a beautiful fucking day to hit Stanley Park and puff some... Hash. Hash, oh, exactly. And I did forget. Yes, we got the turps, all many flavors. Uh, rosins and dry sips and wet washes. I forgot the D-nail, um, unfortunately, but luckily yesterday for my birthday, my wife got me a big shot GT8000. She said it was quite funny. She went into the CCHQ and she said, yeah, you know, I'm looking for a torch for my husband. And they're like, oh, well, you know, if he's a big dabber, he'll want the big shot GT8000. They're like, is he a big dabber? And she's like, well, he's bubble man. And they just, <laughs> and they, they, they just probably went like this one. They just yeah, laughed, need, they were like, the one. this is the one. So this is my first ever torch. Really? It's not like a creme brulee toy. I have a creme brulee toy. Somewhere. I, I lost mine yesterday on the Sunshine Coast, but I had two of them. And uh, this came the same day I lost the other one. And this is, this is the torch I wanted. I've also got the Hive Quave Club Banger that was just sent to me. So we got this little guy that we're gonna be hitting off today. I found that my puking beagle actually carbs it really nice, so we're gonna be using that for a carb. Perfect. We got the mothership, Taurus, for the win. And what do you want to hit first, dude? I got some Congo dry sips for your birthday. Congo dry sip. Let's hit some Congo dry sips. So, nice, nice catch with the quick. Uh, my my reactions now. With the quick reaction, I like that. I'm gonna go for a nice little dunk on this. A dunk. I got a little down. a little dunk and doodle. So what it was is is I found this bag of Congo in my closet. Hold on to and, that. And it definitely had your name on it. Just because I think last autumn on your birthday, yeah. we smoked Congo. Makes sense. It, wouldn't it make sense? Yeah, totally makes sense. I'm just saying. So this is a nice clean. It was only a, a one static pass because I didn't have time to make it like your brand of bubble. Yeah, yeah. Sift, you know what I mean? Oh, I think it'll be wonderful. But I know excited. it melts and I know you're gonna love the taste. So I guess the one thing with these club bangers is you really just have to gauge the time that you hit them for. I'm not sure it's, especially this early on in its life cycle, I, I doubt that it will turn any different color. It's white. Exactly. Well, they, you can get them orange eventually, I know, but... Uh, and I've always been told to hit these, like, you know, kind of evenly. Don't just hold the torch in one spot. I'm sure someone out there is laughing at how I'm heating this up right now. Side. Dude, he's totally fucking it up. up. He's you totally should doing two it wrong. Out it actually, Bubble Man doesn't know how to use a fucking torch. If you had two, you could heat it up quicker. Well, you're kind of right. I kind of don't know how to use a torch. You but, actually uh, don't know how to use a torch. I'm not a big torch guy. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a torch guy. My first torch ever. All right, all right. So I get the feeling. I use my hand usually to. Uh, it's windy, oh. To gauge yeah. the uh, the heat. We got helicopters all around. I'd rather hit it a little cooler than a little hotter. We like the flavor. I'm not gonna lie. I. A cooler nail gives you a better flavor. Well, this wind is cooling it down wicked, I'll tell you that much. I think I'm gonna go. And for Give me, thanks, Johnny B. Oh, happy birthday. And you know, I, I'm the guy who used to hit a hot nail because it worked so well for my pain. I wanted a hot hit that hit me hard. But, but I really realized that those flavor, low temp flavors are just amazing. Like, amazing. So, different flavors, different <coughs> temps give you a different... That was beautiful. That was like perfect temperature. Was it perfect temp? Yeah, it was real good. I counted about 15 seconds on about a 15 second heat. <coughs> Do we have? <coughs> Just cleaning off my carbon for you. Nice. And of course I'll torch it again. And of course, see, I I did this hash this morning. Yeah. And just because I'm running around, I'm like, I haven't even tried it. Of course you have it. <laughs> you know how I do that. Like, she put it Maybe I'll just give it to Marcel. Here you go. Oh, hey, Marcel, come on over. I had another funny experience in Jamaica <laughs> with Bobo. Bobo? <laughs> he Bobo. asked me for a bud and I didn't have one. And then I talked about the Jamaica or the Toronto thing. And 
how bad I felt because I had just given your bud away to Marcel and then when Bobo came up and asked for the bud, I just wasn't able, I just was like, dude, I, I can't, it's not my bud. I already tried the giving it away and it, it, it didn't really work out very well. And uh, so we had another funny experience in Jamaica, I'll have to tell you about it, it was ridiculous but funny. Bobo. Good he, guy, he good guy. He was definitely, a, he was an awesome cook. He is the cook. This guy crawled He's the in, chef. into the bushes, like really walked, went in the backyard, walked up a tree, and came down with with all kinds of awesome fruits and I can't remember all that. But you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, he's doing it good, man. And then we're in the middle of nowhere and he brings food out of nowhere. Rasta chef. Like nowhere. Like yeah, we're in the middle of a ganja field in the middle <coughs> of Bangkok and this guy starts cooking. Yeah. It was straight amazing. Up. That's straight up. Dude, so <coughs> we're gonna puff a couple of bowls in a couple of different parts of the park just to show you the beauty and have a little conversation. But I also brought the drone out today, so I thought we would show you a little bit about like the aerial uh, view of where we are right now. So I'm gonna do an aerial view of each spot, but probably towards the end, because I'm not sure I should be puffing and droning simultaneously. How was that hit? Off the ceramic bowl, the banger. Did you hit it at the right time? Did you hit it a little early, a little late? <coughs> I hit that thing perfectly. Nice. Yeah. That's that's the way to do it. I got some experience in this stuff. Yeah, we well, can all cook it off I'll give it a cook ski for you. <laughs> I've actually been trained in puffing full melt. Trained in puffing. Dry sift and bubble hash by you. Oh my gosh. Over the last few years, man, uh, I mean, we were, I was talking with my friend today about years ago we said we were just scratching the surface now we got terpenes and we got sifts and this and rosins and yeah. it's just like in the and then the bubbles and all the different changes it's, it's like it's ridiculous but no matter how much we have what gets pulled out first the sift the full melt dry sift always the sift the full melt dry sift it's who the in sift. their right fucking mind would s would say anything other than that i think someone that maybe doesn't have all of the choices but then again we are all different maybe there's someone out there that's completely fucking insane i prefer and to just smoke weed yeah there you go just just bud you never know we support you if you're out there we're all insane in our own rights and uh i think it's time for a little drone footage what do you think oh god i was stoked that you had your phone hooked up i was like what the hell yeah he I, 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 I got, like he's like he just started smiling because i'm like what, what's all that about he goes that's my phone i go what he goes that's my screen i'm like kidding me Oh yeah, dude. This thing okay, so don't put your hand here. This thing is hella fun. So I'm gonna uh, leave that camera on so we still have the audio. And uh, sorry, I had to do that. We're gonna send this bad boy off. Okay, this is pretty cool. I've, I just have to say, like when we've seen them, I know people have had them. This one's small. It's pretty tiny. It's it's very tiny. It's definitely like can a can can, can, can it like quarter around a pound and drop it off at local dispensaries. You know, definitely one of the things they say about these is to not uh, uh, apply anything to them. Do not put um, any weight to them. Any weight on them. Any, any, any <coughs> so let's see what we got here. Okay, I like how the camera moves back and forth. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm still trying to like learn it a little bit. Okay, so in other words, don't sit right here when he turns it on. Oh, and you'll it goes be good. Into my face. And, 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 and hits the titanium in my neck. <laughs> no titanium in Johnny's neck. Slowly moving out of the way. All right, so let's close this off. Oh, normal, latest firmware. Loading satellite map may cost a lot of solar. No problem. Apparently it's gonna kill your battery. No uh, data usage. No I'm data use, usage. I'm, I'm usually hooked up to the, uh, to the internet. Yeah, for some reason, they don't have internet connection in Stanley Park. Well, that's okay. I just kind of like got home.
Okay, that was really, 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 really fucking cool. Not too fucking bad, right? Dude, like honestly, whenever we get together, we do crazy cool stuff. I do love it. Stuff. Let's do one more bong rip and go right, find another that. zone. Blew all that shit. I know, it's just like everywhere. Like, shh. That's awesome. Look at us. It's like, woo. Hey, we're having fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's hit some of what I got. I think the easiest to dab will be this rosin. Bubble hash rosin. Um, oh no, you know, you know when you do something and you're like you remember when we were kids and you get all excited and you're like, woo, that was so cool. That's how I am. That's how I am right now too. You do the same thing. Like, oh, it's like that was so awesome. Well, it's freaky too. It is. It's like holy shit, dude. We sent that thing like a like, kilometer away. Like, like, and it was like. It's trippy. Uh, I've, personally, I've never, I've seen them, I've heard of them, but to actually be beside it, witness it, and see it in front of you, I'm like, come to me. You'd be yeah. like, Shh. they're cool, dude. It was pretty cool. Uh, I was all, you know, I didn't actually bring it up, but I meant, uh, I guess I was mentioning that I was editing videos while insuring my truck today. And the insurance lady's like, oh, I heard you say something about videos. Did you say you had a drone? Because I mentioned I was going to yeah. fly the drone with, with you. And she's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. And uh, all kind of like stoked to brag about my drone, kind of. Not really, but a little bit. <laughs> of course I would be. Amazing. And she's like, yeah, we have one. Uh, an XR XT77. She's like, names this thing off. I'm like, wow, what's, that sounds like it's 20 grand. She's like, oh, all said and done, it's about 120K in the air. Like her camera and everything. I guess she, she side project or whatever. They yeah. work for the movies and okay. TV. And, <laughs> I was just like, and like, well, I've been like, you know. I was like, are you kidding me? She just shames my drone. Oh, your little mini drone is cute, boy. Yeah, anyway. we got one with about 100 grand. 100 it, it, it does high-end digital. That's. Well, that's the whole thing about technology, right? I mean, uh, you got it. That's the whole thing like about shatter. technology. Well, it doesn't want to pick up because it's cold. Too. It's cold. But I could be heating this up. I'll heat it up. I'll get it on it. So this is actually the camera cover, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, flying everywhere. Yeah, it's important for the gimbal to be, um, you know, held in place so when in storage. This has to be done so it can deliver a gram of hash. It very well may, but one of the things they say right off the bat is to not put stickers, to not offset the balance of it because it is a fairly precise instrument. Uh, I'm going to say we have to put a gram on each corner of it. Well, it, it would definitely somehow be able to work. we got to do a gram delivery. It has to happen. Today. Like, right, you'd have to put it right on the top. Right? And then the scrape it off, just rosin, just, just press like, it on. Like, <laughs> and then we'll watch the drone fly into the ocean <laughs> in the most hilarious of ways. And, and the thing is, is, is the footage will be on the phone. Yeah. So that's the best part, no, we didn't lose the footage. No, the footage is on the chip on, the, on there. Oh, you can that? only watch it through that wire that I have set up. So somehow we have to record it while yeah. watching the drone. It won't go into the ocean. But definitely a, um, a new perspective on taking a better look at a lot of things. I mean, I'm curious on the laws around drones. Can we fly them downtown Vancouver? Um, can we fly them outside of the apartment building? There are uh, no fly zones. You can go online and find out where no they are. No fly like, zones. Airports are big no fly zones. I'm pretty much. Okay, so I can't fly these things near my place. Not near your airport. But you can definitely fly it around your property. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to the Fraser River and get unbelievable footage all up and down the river. Oh, dude, I was at the top You of could wait for someone to catch a sturgeon and go I was on top of Vetter Mountain yesterday. That's where I went. I went for a little little trip. And you know what? Bringing that thing up there and seeing the world is and how high and overlooking all of the valley would it's be so you. amazing. If we go on the Argo, I can, we, we it, are. I can set it to what track us. So What's, we don't have to do this part. What's we the just if? push a button and it follows us. Well, no, there's He no said if. if. I was like, yeah. No, no that's, if. That's happening. <laughs> There's no ifs or ands. But I'm gonna have to wait probably another. I'm gonna wait till the surgeon <laughs> on May 17th gives me the okay. <coughs> That's a good idea. I knew my lid was blown away. Like, see, that's a fly zone right there. So I probably couldn't fly the drone over the water there. So I'm still learning. We can go on the website too and check it out and make sure we're not uh, breaking on any, any unnecessary laws. The best part about a friend having a drone? A friend having a drone. A friend having a drone. Uh, <coughs> I think there's a responsibility too to make sure that you're not creeping people out, flying near people's homes and looking in their windows and that sort of thing. So I'm avoiding that at all costs. Just trying to have fun with my drone and get some footage. And 
and uh, definitely don't want to be uh, stepping on anyone's toes unnecessarily. So that's Johnny B's second dab. We're gonna head over to the totem poles, get some more drone footage, and we'll uh, see you soon. All right, so we found ourselves another zone here, a nice little bench in front of a big, vast, open field. Uh, we're kind of on a peninsula in the back of it, and there's North and West Vancouver over there, and then you have Vancouver, the convention center, and downtown over here. And we thought we would, A, puff some more bowls out of Johnny's little heady piece here. Uh, got a little West Coast Concentrate 120 Micron Green Crack God. Oh, really? Fucking smells so good. Super nice. So we're gonna do that, and uh, I guess I'll fire this drone up and get a little bit of the footage, so I can enjoy my bowl. Maybe well, I'll. We got planes, we got helicopters, we got army. Um, we got a whole, a whole wide variety of yeah, we do. things in the air. Yeah, we do. We're about to put one more up there, so. So you know what? I, I just kind of maybe we can get some, some views of some other. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Well, this part of the path, what I've been using was a, as a kind of like my drop down. All right, all right. I have <laughs> that was my aircraft engaging. Aircraft engaging. When you hear that sound, you yeah. know there's an aircraft being engaged. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, let's take off, eh? Hey, let's dab that oh. out, eh? Thank oh, it's initializing. I moved Init it. It's on a little bit of an angle. So it's got to re... Yeah, the IMU reinitializes, and so it'll just take a few seconds before it does that. In the meantime, we're going to keep this torch up. Yeah, there you go. Heat that up. We're going to get this ready. Heat that up. IMU is initializing. Do not move the aircraft until initialization is complete. All right. Oh, this is going to be hard. Why? Pull it out gently and a little bit, you know, loosen a bit and then flip the jar upside down in your hand and then press it in between your fingers. It's very high quality, so it'll be quite easy to do. That's what I mean.
after realizing that uh, flying drones over Stanley Park is illegal, we decided to go get some Nats pizza, so that's what we're gonna do now. Good. What do you think of them apples? There's some weight to that pizza. Yeah, even the cheese pizza is heavy thick. It's like, it weighs like three pounds. You know how much I love pizza, man. Right? Well, the best thing in the world. Look at the green peppers and onions. Bon appetit. All right, well that was some delicious pizza. That was amazing pizza. Some good uh, illegal drone flying. Well, we, th we, we now know that we can't fly it on the beach or in Vancouver. Yeah, gonna have um, to go to some different spots. That one area, uh, we, that, that's a little iffy because it was just a field. It was. It, so I don't, you know, it wasn't that bad. But we do know for future, we're not flying it outside of buildings. That's for sure. Well, thanks for watching Bubble Man's World. Good chilling with you, Johnny B. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.